Good morning YouTube. Uh, this is Jim here with East Tennessee Preparedness. I wanted to show you some of the things I've been doing to get ready. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, my phone screwed up so I have to use my son. But I've been finding these big number 10 cans at Walmart for $2.50. So every time I go to Walmart I get a couple. See I'm still bucketing up food in the food grade buckets. I found that. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's hard white wheat. I got that off the company that starts with the name of a big river in South America. And I'll show you some other things. I got another 20 pound bag of rice down there to vacuum seal. Uh, the other day I canned, if you can see that, uh, it's about eight pounds of ground chuck. I have nine pounds of fresh sausage that I bought off a friend that knows somebody that processes their own their own pigs. So probably gonna can that this weekend. New puppy's doing good. Water catchment system had not rained hardly any since I put it out here, but it's doing good. I need to clean it up and make sure all the leaves are off. We're supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow from what's left over the hurricane hurricane sally i think uh finally got my riding mower fixed so I had to have somebody help me with that it was a beast i need to get this rototiller fixed i need a new carburetor I need to fire up my generator fire it up every three or four months make sure it's still in good shape chickens are doing good uh Sometimes I get four eggs, sometimes I get six. Heard zombie chicken there going crazy a second ago. Good morning, ladies. Got four eggs yesterday, six the day before, so that's not bad out of 10 hens, I don't guess. Let me check this morning. I let them out and gave them some treats earlier. Well, you can see I'll have some eggs soon. This girl right here is a roosting box hog, or a nesting box hog. She will not move. I'll come back in about an hour, and if she's still sitting there, I'll move her myself. Uh, I'm still getting a little bit of stuff out of the garden. Not much, everything's pretty much died. But we'll go down and take a look. Some of the beans yesterday, I went ahead and pulled up and got rid of their dead. The ones in the straw bales are, are still producing. I'm still getting tomatoes. Still getting some jalapenos. Which my ex fixed those up over the weekend. And halved them and filled them with cream and cheddar cheese. And wrapped them in bacon and baked them. They were quite tasty. But these, these beans, as you can see, they still look pretty good. Still growing. Still getting some blossoms. You see that mess over there? They're pretty much gone. Not getting any beans. So I cleaned part of it up yesterday. And as soon as I make this video, I'll take care of the rest of that mess. Still getting some nice tomatoes. That big boy will be ready to pick here in a day or another day or so. But still getting some pretty good tomatoes. I don't know why they're so late this year. Uh, Jalapenos, jalapenos. Hope you can see this. Still getting a few. Got quite a few on this one if you can see them. So, probably do that the first uh, Tennessee game. Tomatoes over here. I need to get all these tomato cages and bust these straw bales up. What I'm going to do with these food grade buckets, which didn't do anything, is I'm going to fill these garden beds up with a nice coat of leaves after I pull everything out. And then I'm gonna pour this dirt on them and kind of come down here and work it up over the winter. I'm thinking about putting some more garden beds in, in the, this winter when it's when I can. The straw bales work good, but I can't keep pouring $200 a year into straw bales, so that's just not feasible. Well, hopefully I'll get all this dirt in these and I'll work this uh, these straw pails up and composted. Composting pile is getting bigger. Hope you can see that. 
But that's about it uh, on the job front. I have a job I was going to start next month, but I went to the glass plant and I'm not saying I'm a wimp, but I'm 55 years old and I just can't go uh, balls to the walls 12 hours a day like I used to could when I was 25, 30 years old. So I told them I appreciate the opportunity, but I'm just soon not have my body completely fall apart before I reach retirement age and before Dom Tar calls me back. So I told them I appreciate it, but no thanks. And hopefully I'll figure out what's wrong with my phone and I'll start making a few more videos. But I hope everybody's having a, a good day, good week so far. Be careful, the world gets crazier every day. So make sure you can take care of yours and yourself. And hopefully you've started putting some stuff back. Even had a, one of my cousins who's up in years told me he'd been listening to me and he was starting to prep. So hey, at least it's not for nothing. I've got one person to start. So. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.